Okay, hi, welcome. Uh, welcome to today's video. The time is currently 2.32 a.m. There goes my light, unless my uh, car battery's just died. That would be extremely fun. In fact, I think it might have. Let's hope not. That would really not be ideal. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, no, but it is. Yeah, there you go. 2.32, technically Friday morning. So I've actually just finished editing uh, today's video, which was the driving episode one video. But there's just been something missing kind of like recently in my content that I really just had no idea what it was. But I didn't really feel like I was connecting enough with you guys and kind of like giving you enough content. And I realized this is what we're missing. We're missing just one of these conversations, one where we just sit down and we just talk about it all because like just everything that's going on in life at the moment. So yeah, I don't know whether you want to grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab whatever you want to drink. I don't really mind as long as you sit down and you just enjoy it. But yeah, it's, pretty, it's going to be a pretty small video, pretty short video, pretty casual video, not too heavy demands on the editing, just something easy, easy to watch, easy to edit, and it's just chill. So first things first, life. Like what, what's new? So a lot of things that you guys have actually been asking me is, am I going to uni this year? Am I taking a gap year? What university am I going to? Etc. Etc. Now, this has kind of been on, on like the massive ropes recently, and I just generally genuinely have no idea quite what I'm gonna do but I like oh my god I thought someone was outside but I like that and how it is at the moment so I've obviously been doing my internship for the last week and a half I met some amazing people so I've actually talked to the former CEO of content at YouTube and yeah there's loads of like high performance people in this space that are doing pretty phenomenally to say the least and they're just hugely inspiring characters and is really something that I want to be involved in and hence this startup world is kind of really become more appealing to me and it's in wicked but they all live in london and that's kind of opened my eyes to london life a bit more so the reason i didn't go with imperial as a university basically i had imperial bath southampton and birmingham got rejected from cambridge and i will explain exactly why in a later video because i know why i didn't get into cambridge in there but it was basically between bath and imperial for me bath the reason i went for it and the reason i firmed bath so i actually have firmed bath now and i've also submitted my application for accommodation the reason i firmed bath over imperial is because I wanted to go into automotive engineering and Imperial didn't have like course and modules specific to automotive engineering uh, whereas Bath the course in itself is automotive engineering so it was kind of like a no-brainer the only thing that Imperial had was that London life and that kind of like close to those startups that I really liked so yeah I went with Bath I'm really happy with my decision in Bath as it stands but I'm going to be continuing to work on this startup over the summer and seeing how it develops if uh, it is maybe a longer term thing or if it's just for the summer and yeah i'll kind of base my decision around that but if i did get offered a longer term position at this company that i'm working for this startup that i'm working for which if you haven't seen the last video the uh, day in the life of a tech startup intern i definitely recommend watching that because i go into a bit there if that did turn into a longer position then i definitely consider taking a gap year to focus more on that but also to travel and just kind of mature as a person before i go off to uni and before i like head straight into a course this light is way too harsh hold on yeah because i feel like at the moment i'd be kind of going in to university there's a fly yeah i'd be going into university into the automotive course because it was the only thing out of a limited bunch of options because i knew i wanted to go to engineering i didn't want to do electrical i didn't really want to do civil and it was kind of just between mechanical and aerospace and automotive i kind of narrowed that path i'd kind of zoomed in on that and i'd ended up well, like mentally committing myself to the automotive industry and that's why i felt what i wanted to do but the big thing with that that I, I was keen to avoid is accepting kind of like normality and accepting that I just was going to go into like a typical job and have a typical role, but then also start or maintain my kind of like side hustles, my YouTube, this business that I'm trying to create on the side of that rather than it being centered around my actual career. If that somewhat makes sense, um, and I kind of accepted that that was probably the direction that it was going to take, but this last week has changed that. It made me realise that that isn't the direction I need to take. There are so many inspiring people that I'm starting to connect with that really just makes me want to break out. Oh my God. <laughs> break out of that previous thought cycle and previous mental uh, model as such. So 
so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I have firmed bar, and I am like more than happy to go there. It is a sick uni. Everyone's so nice from what I've spoken to. I've actually spoken to quite a few people in like university chats and stuff. And everyone seems so nice. It seems like a wicked uni. All of the facilities are absolutely beautiful. But the only thing with that is it's not in London, but it has literally everything else, which is sick. So yeah, I am fully committing to going there in September unless that prospect of a gap year becomes more of a viable option and is something that really tempts me. But then with that, if I do take a gap year, I would really look at the university decisions and reassess whether or not I wanted to be in London. Because at the end of the day, if that gap year went well and I was working in these tech startups and traveling, then I might not be as bothered about going into an automated specific course and I could just take the mechanical at Imperial. Although the Imperial workload seems absolutely ridiculous and I'm not sure I'd have time to maintain any of that while I was there. But yeah, so that's kind of me with uni and the gap years and all of that. But um, I'm really interested to hear about all of your, your plans, wherever you you're going whether you're a GCSE going to A level if you're staying on for your like the college you're at at the moment or if you're going from A level to uni which uni are you going to etc etc and just like plans for summer so love it if you drop those in the comments that'd be amazing but yeah no then in terms of like summer and summer stuff I am absolutely loving the freedom at the moment it is so so sick and I really hope but like, this is one thing that's making me want to take a gap year as well because I've only been on this internship a week and a half in that time I've worked four or five hours every day been out pretty much every night had time to sunbathe because the job is remote taken a trip to london for a night i took a spontaneous trip down to bournemouth vlogged it all made all these videos i've been making videos uh, like the study videos that you want to see and i've just been able to do so much in such a short period of time and i'm absolutely loving it like this summer send series you've been watching it doesn't quite convey like my true emotions at the time it's kind of just the overall energy and the overall peak uh, overall picture and that work hard play hard mentality but yeah yeah, it is sick. I am thoroughly enjoying it. And anyone that's like looking forward to their summer after A-levels, do. It's sick. Just make the most of it, obviously, though. Don't just waste it. But I just really like embracing that work hard, play hard mentality and going ham at it and just trying to like put myself in a sick position coming out of the summer. Ooh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else um, to mention. Oh, yeah, we've also got a, uh, a Discord now. So a Discord group for this community to just kind of go over things like this, to be honest, and just inspire each other. So if you want to join that, link is in the description. And yeah, in terms of the content, that's coming out we've obviously got the very very anticipated how to make cue cards video we've got my cambridge feedback video we've got the trip to london trip to bournemouth summer send series the drive with us series and just loads of little bits of content in between so i definitely recommend dropping a subscribe i'd absolutely love it if you could drop a like on this video like that would just be brilliant but yeah i think that's a good like a uh, little uh, life update little uh little chat with me at 3 a.m because <laughs> i'm gonna go and finish editing finish getting that video ready for tomorrow to post at 5 p.m but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little 3 a.m. car chat. It's been fun. I'm excited just to post more content over summer and just like, yeah, get more engaged with you guys. Blue Light Glass is back on because I'm about to be grinding away on that computer before we absolutely send it for Liv and James's birthday tomorrow night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Gassed, scared that I'm going to literally die, but still gassed. Cool. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I live inside my own world of make-believe